Hi, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Hammy here and for you guys today we're looking at the Season 3 update for Black Ops Cold War. I just recently got the uh, screenshot here for all of the things that are coming up towards Season 3 so we have a lot of things to look forward to. We're going to be getting about three new weapons right away off of launch, a new map and standoff is also coming back from BO2. Completely untouched and everything like that so we have that to look forward to. We're going to go ahead and hop into the overall screenshot of everything right now so I can go ahead and explain to you everything we've got. We have four new maps that are actually going to be coming to us in Season 3. We're going to be having Yaman 6v6, Diesel 6v6, and 2v2. So it looks like that Diesel map is going to be very small. We're also going to be looking at Standoff 6v6 in season. So we're not going to get that right away, but we will get in that later. We are right away going to be getting two brand new maps to the game, which is absolutely insane since we've only had two brand new maps for this game the entirety of the six months that it's been out we're also going to be getting sticks and stones probably because we're also getting the ballistic knife right away as soon as the, the season launches and everything like that so that's gonna be amazing for knifers and everything like that i'm sure tko is gonna have a really good time we're also going to be getting a strafe run as a new score streak so i'm assuming it's going to be like the bombardment or something like that or just like the carpet bombing where it probably just continuously goes across the map about a couple times we also have multi-team elimination in season so i'm assuming that's something like uh something for squad game modes like on fire team and everything like that it looks like we also have the war zone event for hunt for adler and the warzone map update now the hunt for adler thing i'm going to go ahead and discuss that with you guys right now we're going to have to go look and over here we got the hunt for adler this is all going to be in the warzone stuff it says uh pretty much starting with the launch of season three with the new hunt for adler limited time event uh task operators and a unique in-game challenges for both black ops cold war and warzone so it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of black ops cold war stuff to be able to do for this as well you're more than likely gonna have to play both games both warzone and black ops cold war to be able to get this uh you have to learn about his whereabouts you got to complete intel challenges to unlock the rewards including the weapon charms uh, calling cards and operator skins and more find details about this event in the seasonal event tab on the main menu between the play and weapon once season three kicks off probably not gonna be able to see anything like this will probably be like the events before like the events of summer the, the halloween event that we all had those three events will probably tie in right into this so it'll probably just be in that in game menu tab where you have all of those things that complete inside of warzone and now we're going to be looking at it in black ops cold war as well something to look forward to if you are keen on everything like that now hopping back over here to the roadmap here we're going to be looking at pretty much everything here on the right side now this is all the zombie stuff and all of the uh weapons and operator it looks like we're going to be getting about four new things for zombies uh new trucks and a vehicle uh more intel for like voices and stuff like that as well as toxic growth as a new field upgrade so that's going to be pretty cool more than likely going to change up some strats and everything like that for zombie players and also there's going to be a new outbreak region called duga as well so i'm assuming that will be a part of the ground war uh expansion as well and then also looking down here we have about four new actual weapons like and then two melee weapons as well so we're getting about six new weapons four of them actually being bullet projectiles a new sniper rifle called the swiss k31 the ppsh 41 which is going to be an absolute amazing thing to use again a carve dot 2 which also looks like the g11 from bo1 so that'd be pretty nice to see that but we're not going to get that until in season as well as the amp 63 which i've heard is a fully automatic pistol so we're gonna have that to look forward to so going to be getting captain price and tonov wraith and knight all going to be new operators for the season as well as four new emblems for the uh, prestige icon so a 12th 13th 14th and 15th prestige so we're going to have all the way up to 15th prestige now and also there's going to be limited time modes rewards and more for the mid-season event everything like that so we have a lot of things to look forward to as of right now for season three hop back over here into the browser real quick so we can talk about a little bit more things here or tier 15 is when you're going to be able to get the ppsh the sniper rifle is going to be a uh, sniper rifle i'm assuming that's probably just going to be right off the bat if not right off the bat it's more than likely going to be towards the end of the battle pass or mid battle pass and uh, as you can see here they're also teasing the g11 but it looks like it's in a little bit more of like a modern term i guess they kind of updated it from bo1 also the ballistic knife as well i don't know if this is going to be as well the amp 63 the baseball bat and uh the ballistic knife i think the ballistic knife is also going to be launched right off the get-go standoff 6v6 which is going to be absolutely amazing it's the iconic bo2 map that everybody loved and everything like that and uh, that's going to be making its return back with absolutely nothing changed about it. So that's going to be epic. I'm also kind of excited about the diesel map as well, because it seems like it's going to be a very, very small map because it does include a 2v2 and a 3v3 game mode in as well. Uh, it says it's a lonesome desert. This slice of America erupts into a battleground grip for a 6v6 as well as 2v2 and 3v3 in gunfight on this fast paced frenetic map battleground. The gas station is surrounding building smack dab in the middle of the Badlands. I'm guessing this is going to be a really, really fun map to play because it's going to be relatively small, especially if we're going to be able to have a 2v2 and a 3v3 on it as well um and then the 
Uh, other map that we're going to be getting here right off the launch is the Yamantua. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a 6v6 map as well. Um, it says, bury your enemies in the avalanche of firepower as you fight through the crumbling remains of the Soviet observatory on Mount Yamantua. Battle through a massive down satellite disc, snowy interiors, broken catway. So this is pretty much going to be that same map from the campaign. I'm pretty sure that's what they're going to try to remake it into. Like, we could have a good feel like the Apocalypse one, because that one was absolutely amazing. So the new score streak that we're getting, the strafe run, this is a uh, call upon a jet fighters to show lead and rockets down upon the DZ with this new mid-tier score streak perfect for racking up kills or holding down an area while your team captures the objective with a longer active period and a higher potential for kills combined to score streaks like the napalm strike the strife run is a solid choice it's pretty much like um uh, pretty much like a strifing run but like continuous like they'll keep going through and through so probably the last thing i'm going to touch base on here is just a new field upgrade the toxic growth uh, mother nature fight bites back with this new field upgrade at around base maps so brack guaranteed to slow down the undead masses by harnessing arethium crystals requiem rd team has developed toxic growth and activatable field upgrade that summons a deadly growth of toxic thorns in front of an operator i like your cherry from back in the day but this kind of works with like thorns and stuff and it's a field upgrade as well so i feel like that's going to be only really useful and uh maybe most of the outbreak game modes and everything like that but you might be able to find a use for it inside of zombies right here we have a closer look at the four prestiges that we're getting so all the way up to 15th prestige we kind of had some of these before this one kind of looks very similar to one we've already had and um yeah these are just pretty much average and nothing new with level 1000 just extra prestige keys all the way to level 50 every 50 levels you just get an extra prestige key nothing insane they still haven't added anything for level 1000 that's going to wrap up the video just a quick little look at season three and everything like that coming towards us um hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you guys aren't subscribed make sure you drop subscribe down below we greatly appreciate it. drop a like on the video as well if you enjoyed any of the content and i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with that and i hope you guys have a good one i'll catch you later peace out